Okay, I'm going to do a swing evaluation here for Francesco Molinari. And I want to say first, congratulations for winning the Open there at Carnoustie. That's one of the hardest courses in the world, so that's a pretty good accomplishment. Now, as I just swing him through, you can tell he has you know, subtle movements, keeps things pretty quiet, and really keeps the swing simple. And that's just a trait of his. Now the couple things I want to point on, point out on the way back is that I put a line here on his belt loop, kind of a line right under his left foot. You'll see as he goes to take away with that one piece take away with the club and the hands, he's allowing his, uh, you know, his hips to kind of turn at the same rate. So that's keeping things pretty good synced up there. If you watch his left foot, you'll see it start to raise as he's coming back. And then as he comes down, he kind of plants that back down, right there. It's a little bit of an old school trait, but that's just a trait of his. Now, I'm going to put a line here on the front of his head, on the top of his hat, and one back here on his rear. So you go to see as he winds up. See, he's praying, staying pretty steady. The head kind of pulls back off the ball a little. And like most players today, they kind of get down to into the shot, especially with their shorter clubs. But, you know, by him pulling off the ball, it's one thing that's definitely helping is him to stay back in this line so he can stay in pretty good posture as he's unwinding from his core. Right here, you'll notice he's not getting too much off the foot. Um, it's definitely leaning in on the inside uh, of his right foot. It's leaning in on the inside left part of it, so... That means the weight's shifting pretty good to his other side. And as he comes through, his feet are pretty quiet. Like I said, he's very subtle movements. It's not a real dynamic swing. And that's, you know, he's able to get a lot of consistency out of it because so. Now let's look at the club and the face here. You know, right here, he's in a really good face angle. You know, very similar to where his spine is at. Club's almost in line with his hands, just a little bit outside of it at that moment. As he arrives to the top, gets in some really good positions here. Arms running maybe just a touch high of the shoulder line, but you know the right arm's in a good hitting position and really compact to his body. You know, his swing is a pretty compact swing. He doesn't get his arms and hands kind of flying too loose. And face angle's in a good relationship to how he's swinging the club. Now as we come back down, you'll see the left foot plant like we mentioned earlier core starting to unwind and again getting into a real good angle here with the club as he gets into the hitting zone you can see here the face is a little up so it's not dead square to the line of target you know he's going to have to square that up a little bit by either rotating or a little bit of hand action but yeah you can definitely tell once he's getting here he's not allowing it to just stay open so you won't see it as aggressive of a hip turn with him through the ball. You know, you can barely see his left pocket here, even though it's a shorter club. And that's just allowing his him a little bit more time for that touch of an open face to get back to square. Yeah, I mean, really good swing, really nice player. It's good to see him kind of get validated for, uh, you know, all the hard work and play he's done for a long time, um, you know, at Carnoustie with that win. This is a good shaft angle there in relationship to kind of where he started. You know, he creates a lot of, par you know, close to parallel lines. And again, as he comes back down, you'll kind of see that, again, pretty close to parallel, if not dead on it. So, a uh, simple swing that's very efficient. And, yeah, just wanted to cover some things that he does in his swing. And you all have a good day now. Thank you.